Hey there, I'm Daisy Whitney reporting for BTV at the National Association of Broadcaster Show. Just had the chance to catch up with Tom Carpenter at Epics, which is a relatively new movie channel, has an interesting model all around new media consumption of its content. Here's what he had to say. So Tom, tell us a little bit about Epics, who your corporate ownership, and also some of the movies and content that you carry. Sure. Uh, Epics was formed about two years ago. It's a joint venture between uh, Paramount MGM and Lionsgate. Uh, Viacom, which owns Paramount, uh, chipped in another uh, uh, portion on top of that and became the majority shareholder. Uh, so the company was formed about two years ago. We went operational about one year ago. Uh, we launched for our first customers in October of last year for Verizon. And now, where are you? Where are you distributed? I mean, you're doing deals with service providers, and you have sure. some new ones as well. We just announced uh, early Q1, Cox, Mediacom, and Charter, uh, as well as NCTC uh, uh, have closed, and we're launching those customers right now. So I think what's really interesting to BTV viewers is the, the model that you're going after. Obviously, you know, we know about HBO and Showtime mm -hmm. and how those uh, movie and premium networks work. You guys have really designed to have broadband as part of it from the get-go. How does that work exactly right. for consumers? Well, we're absolutely a premium channel like an HBO or Showtime. Um, but on top of that, from the core business plan, uh, broadband was part of the strategy. So on the business side, all the way from our procurement to our licensing, we get the rights and the materials to distribute online uh, and even to phones or other devices as our providers find need. Uh, so for consumers, that means they can watch it when they want, where they want, uh, on any device they want to. Our, our strategy is to go to basically every screen. Um, and by having the broadband rights, uh, we're fulfilling on that. So it's kind of like the TV everywhere idea, but specifically for your network. Is that fair to say? It's TV everywhere, but it's real and it's live. Uh, and it's been operating for almost a year. That's right. Okay, so <laughs> give me an example. A Verizon customer could see what movie in what platforms if they're an Epic subscriber. Anything in our linear window is also in our broadband window. Uh, so that means at any given time, at least 150 movies are available on demand as a virtual VOD service online. So what's coming up next? What are the challenges and opportunities ahead for you in 2010? Uh, challenges are just to maintain the, the super growth and deployment. Uh, we're, we're expanding very rapidly our, our uh, footprint. Uh, uh, we're looking forward to some new announcements uh, that will be exciting with new customers in the short term. Uh, and the challenge for us, frankly, is just to keep up the, uh, the great growth and distribution uh, while maintaining the product innovation on the development side. And tell us some of the movies that we could see. Uh, well, Iron Man uh, is one of the favorites. Um, we've got G.I. Joe coming up. Um, all of the Paramount, uh, MGM, and Lionsgate new releases, uh, so it's quite fun. Uh, you know, we're, we're, another part of the core strategy is we've got a very aggressive window, uh, so we get movies before other folks after the theatrical release, and we keep them a little longer. Um, in fact, we've locked up rights for most of those movies across the entire 10 or 15 year distribution cycle for the online. Uh, so we've got movies on our service you won't be able to see anywhere else. Now, who are you working with on the technology side? Who are some of your partners to help power the online delivery and the mobile delivery? Certainly. Uh, we were one of the first companies to launch on Adobe's uh, Flash Media Server 3.5. Uh, that was really the first product that could ena uh, enable HD streaming online uh, through rendition management. Uh, so what that means is, is you can change the version of a file as opposed to pausing to buffer. Uh, so that gives a, a viewer an uninterrupted experience, which is extremely important for uh, watching broad, uh, long term, uh, long form content. Um, in addition to that, we're uh, a proud Akamai partner. Uh, they've got a great network and have really been a, a team player and get us to market uh, quickly uh, and stably. Um, our media player was built by a company named uh, Clipsync. They're a very forward-looking company with a lot of uh, uh, great thought and insight into what's happening in the social media space, which is also an important part of the uh, epic story. Cool. Thank you, yeah. Tom. Great.